Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs and welcome to part two of our quarantine quilt along. I'm back. I hope you're having a good time and just taking some time to dance and shake it up and just forget about all the worries in the world and just enjoy stitching, sewing, cutting and all kinds of things. So we just posted the first session, which we started a couple of hours ago. Sorry, we're like a few minutes late, but we had to, had to uh, make sure we could connect with Bonnie and all that before we went live. But the first session is already up on YouTube. And if you are on Facebook, you can always find it by going to the GE Designs business page, go to videos, and then you can rewatch everything. So it's already there. Now, uh, one thing I forgot, I was a little flustered in that first session. I forgot to announce our winner for the first session. So congratulations goes to Debbie Kennedy. Yay, Debbie, you will be getting a $25 gift card to spend in the GE Quilt Designs shop. So let's all celebrate Debbie and don't forget to check in, uh, put in the comments where you are watching from and how you're doing. Now, as I, some of the questions that got, got asked in the first session that I might not have gotten to, a lot of things were about how, how I can rewatch. So again, back in the Facebook page and YouTube. And then others were saying that I was, some were saying I was going too fast, others were saying I was at the perfect speed. So just consider this, this is a demo. So I'm not gonna be doing things at the same speed as you would be at home. So I will take you through all the steps. So I totally realize that you are just probably getting your fat quarters cut right now, but don't worry about it. We got all day. So just relax, take a breath, put some music on and dance. It's gonna be all right. So I'm gonna, uh, talk to Bonnie a little bit later and then we're gonna do the demo for block B but I know you're probably not there don't worry we got all day it's not a race we're gonna have fun today that is number one goal and if you learned a few tricks here and there that's the bonus and if yeah fun, number one is having fun so another thing where's the playlist so for the playlist that we created with music that really it's our situation in the world today and it's all about having fun don't worry be happy and then there's some really hilarious quilting songs in there that we found while well, the producer found them and so everything is on the blog again if you need the schedule if you need a link to where to get the pattern if you need to find the playlist everything is on the blog so the website gequiltdesigns.com Click on the blog tab and everything is in there. It's just a great place to go find all the information. All right, so there's a link to that playlist. And if you have Spotify, you can just add it to your Spotify playlist. You don't even have to download the songs. You just add the playlist and then you can play. Um, so another thing was a lot of you were frustrated with a video freezing up. Good news, our signal was strong throughout the whole time. So it's not our internet, it's probably yours. So again, just relax. You can always watch after the fact. So it's just normal. We've been experiencing it here at home because all everybody in the neighborhood is home, which means everybody's bandwidth is being dragged down by everybody being online. But proud to say that our state's strong. Now, I wanna just check in with a few of you. I saw that you're posting photos of your progress, just having fun. So I just grabbed a few that I saw. So Allison has some blocks, a couple of blocks made, really, really fun. And then Connie has, she's making a crib size and she has all of hers done. How cute is that? Really cute fabrics. And then Cynthia just got started in her first block, really proud of it, looks beautiful. Um, and then Helle is in Denmark and she couldn't stop herself because it's already 3, 4 p.m. in Denmark. So she got her all her blocks done for a crib size. And then Jean got hers, a couple of them started. How cool fabrics. I love that penguin fabric. And I think I saw that she had been waiting. These fabrics had been waiting for years to get used. And well, how perfect is that? And then we have Maya. She started, got her first block done. Beautiful batiks it looks like. So gorgeous start. I hope you're getting a fun start to this. And again, if I can answer any questions, make sure to post them. But I think we need to check in with Bonnie. Let's go to Quiltville and see 
what Bonnie's been up to. So I gotta put my headphones on so I can hear her. Hi, Bonnie. Okay, this is I, like, can you hear me? I can hear you now. Good, good. Oh my gosh, this is technical <laughs> difficulties, you guys. You have no idea what goes on behind the scenes, but we persevere. We cool push through. Resilient that way. I have been sewing up a storm, and I am yes. a whole. Yay! I have a I have a whole selection of blocks made, and I think that. Oh gosh, I wish I had been able to see your video before I started cutting because. I learned some things. Oh, I, I learned my my little square. The um, square of astrology ruler is perfect because I was going to go with the plain um, rectangles, the insert rectangles, perfect for trimming. Just, it is. Just, yeah, I mean it was just perfect with seven and a half inch line with the rulers that I have because I didn't have the XL. So I'm kind of doing a combination, but I'm learning things. That's so, great. Yeah, I'm like, so excited. So any tips that you've got, any extras for people? And any tips that I got, I would say I need to find a ruler that has the, the I need the point trimmers, definitely. I wish I had those. I can fix that. You can fix <laughs> <laughs> I think they're the bomb. There's so many times when you don't know how far to shoot something over and you're it's all guesswork and then you end up with extra at the end and then you're like ah where's the seam ripper yeah. so definitely then, point yeah. trimmer and then are a plus. Start ripping that bias then it just gets worse so yeah 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 and i also loved the tip that you gave about bob mm -hmm. bias on the bottom as well as bring your own beverage yeah you I know it but that was worse. great <laughs> yeah that, that was really great as far as my favorite block so far i think it's this one Oh, I love that. Yeah. I've been using um, a variety of neutral strips because I have limited yardage here, but I have lots of two inch strips already cut. There so I'm go. doing Mercury type fabric. There's really not a lot of contrast. For but the I contrast, I'm going with the neutrals, and it was so easy to cut from the strips I had on hand. So it's a bonus that both of these things, the fat quarters and the strips, are finding a place to go. I know. That's right. And those. Of, uh, your followers that follow the scrap system, they probably have those two inch strips too. They probably do. So they feel free to pull them in if you don't have enough contrast. Mix and match. Yeah. Yep. yeah, mix and match and play. Yes, I always say um, in my classes, I encourage rebel behavior. So if you don't <laughs> like it, change it. It's your quilt. She's a rebel and will never ever be any yep. good. Did you add that? To your playlist. Okay, I'll have to do that. What song is that? <laughs> <laughs> Did that make it to Iceland? <laughs> Maybe. Because <laughs> Elvira never did, so not that I know of, at least. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, we so appreciate you sewing with us. So we're going to move into block B. Let's do it. And... Let's get on to block B. Yes, and so that's pretty much the same thing, same tools. We're just switching directions, but I'm gonna still demo it all just for everybody to calm down and have fun. Remember to have fun. Now, Perfect. there are so many of our viewers that have been quarantined for a while, and now a lot of our states are shutting things down. So I uh, just wanna reach out, and I know you do, and you're a gro uh, to please, you know, throw out a lifeline if you're feeling lonely or feeling you need to connect. We are all here yeah. for you. So, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Absolutely. And the good thing about even though we're isolated, if I find a friend who is short on some fabric that I have, it's going in, a, in an envelope and I'll yes. send it. We can get care packages going through the mail. Yes, the mail is still working. It still works, yeah. And um, I, I, there's a lot of quilt shops that ship online obviously if you yes, need anything you and they're small businesses and we can small help some businesses them. exactly yeah. we are lucky that my shop is in my house so even if <laughs> our state goes on lockdown we're still working because it's just us we're self-quarantining right. anyway right 
Exactly. We'll do what we can to get our, our things out to people who need them as yes. fast as possible. And just just have some joy, smile. And, um, you know, I know you do live things spontaneously. I will have a show next week, Tuesday, and then also on Friday. So I'll just Perfect. feel like we're in your sewing room with you at least. Absolutely. Thank you. All right, we will, uh, can't wait to see things. So send me pictures when you have some things sewn together, some of your beat I will, I'll send stuff. some photos. I'll send okay. some photos. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Everybody say hi to Bonnie and thank her for being with us. All right. So this is so fun. I, um, I think I looked and we have, again, about 4,000 people uh, live with us. So thanks again for going through this madness, history in the making. I am happy to say that now our downloads for the Elvira pattern are up to 11,000. So 11,000 Elviras are being at least planned, hopefully created today. And I uh, appreciate you so much for being with me. But we're going to move on. So I, I know that some of you have probably not even started on your A blocks, but don't worry. I'm going to just demonstrate the cutting on the B blocks. So if you're not there, you're not ready to watch it. Don't worry. Don't watch it. Just listen, and then you can go back and watch it when you're ready to get there. Sounds good? All right, so then I'll address some questions, look at some of your questions after I do my demo. So we're gonna do the same thing as with the A blocks. So we're gonna pull in our rectangles and however many rectangles you need for your B block. So just that depends on the size of your quilt. Now I have mine already, so I did the 20 and a half inch cutting and um, so that um, is already done. And let me just adjust my camera a little bit so that you can see better. Um, something must have gotten changed. Ooh. Okay, this is not working. Weepy, move the table. Oh, it's too heavy. <laughs> we'll move this down. How about that? There we go. Oh, we got the producer in here, so he's gonna maybe do some adjustments. But I have this already cut into the 20 and a half. And so now we have to cut the B block angle. So 20 and a half, and I just wanted to show you this. So this is the one that I cut the directional fabrics and I pieced the two little guys here at the bottom and you can't really tell, can you? So it's okay to have a couple of extra seams in your block uh, because you put it farther away, see? I put it further away and nobody really notices. So we're gonna do our cut. So I'm gonna turn these and stack, I'm gonna just do one at a time because I'm gonna show you the different versions. Oh, look at that. All right, so now we are back in business. So this, remember we cut the A blocks at this angle. So for the B blocks, we're gonna turn it the other way because we're, for the Excel ruler, we're gonna turn it the other way. And we're gonna do the same thing. So our top left corner is even with the zero and using that diagonal line going down on the top of our block now. And so same thing, we're just gonna cut through the seven inch slit and that will give us our units. If you have the trimmers or a 60 degree uh, flat tip ruler, grab that. You're gonna just pop these off um, there were some other tools recommend that people were finding in their, in their stashes or their collections of tools. So there's a Hex and More ruler that has a flat tip. All of her rulers, all of her sizes have that flat tip. If you have the Creative Grids, uh, obviously 60 degree triangle. Also the 60 degree diamond has a flat, 60 degree flat tip. So all kinds of things that you could utilize. Now, if you have the original ruler, the original stripology, um, instead of doing this, because there's not a line going that direction for the original, we're actually going to use the same angle, but we're going to flip our fabric over. So right side down, and then you can use this angle, remember, so the 60 degree line on the bottom, but I created those little extra, so I'm going to move the ruler up to use the bottom here. And then this arrow is two inches down from the line. So you know you have the right angle. And then we make our cut through the seven. So that is how we use the original. And then you end up with the same angle as this one. 
So same deal. And um, third would be if we have not neither ruler and not a 60 degree. So we're going to just measure and mark. So last time for block A, we did eight inches from the from the left side and in, but we're going to do it from the right side and in this time. So eight inches here. And if you don't have a 60 degree triangle or any kind of tool, just mark it on the other side as well on the top. And that is from the left and over. If you don't have any rulers, remember you just align your ruler on the two marks and cut. If you have a triangle ruler, you can remember this is the angle we want. So then you just have a horizontal line on the bottom and then your edge of the ruler just goes right to that mark to make that cut. And we have our right angled cut there. So that is the right angle. So now we're on to our parallelograms. So with the original strip, with the Excel stripology, for the first ones, we cut it this way. The, now the second ones, we're going to align them this way. So that goes the same with the Excel as with the original. So I'm going to show the original. We just align the 60 degree line on the bottom. And then we make our cuts through the zero and the seven and a half there. And then of course, if you don't have um, tools to do the parallelograms, we can just use the, the rectangles on their own and do the aligning. So let me just show you how to align these. We're going to start with our trimmed off point. So here I have, um, that is a, a, a block that has been trimmed off. You want to find a fun accent strip to put on there. And of course, it's going to be the same deal. It's going to, if you trimmed off your points, it's going to match totally corner to corner. And then BOB, bias on the bottom, you want to sew this. So then you end up with a unit that looks like that. And then to place the second one, the top part, it's going to be the same deal, point to point, then flip it over because we want BOB and sew down. And then you will end up with a beautiful block B. I didn't bring one over here to show you. Well, this is what it's going to look like. So the, the difference is the angle of the, yes, there it is. Thank you, Mr. Producer. <laughs> Thank you. So here it is. It's just the angle is different. Oh, I love these mummies, these walking mummies. Um, so the angle is going up. So this is, I call this up the hill and the uh, A blocks were going down the hill. So if you have just the rectangles and none of the parallelograms cut, it's going to be similar to what we did before. We take the bottom one. We want to sew the rectangle to here. So we flip it on top. And remember, it's going to be the opposite of when we did the, I'm going to show you in close up. And um, let me move this iron out of the way. So in the close up, we're just going to stick that triangle, uh, th that corner of the rectangle out just a little bit. So just about this much. And then pin it in place. It's going to extend the other side quite a bit, as you can see. But that's what we want because once we press it out, it's going to need that to be able to trim on the side. So we're going to sew this and then we will have something that looks like that right here when it's pressed out. So I'm going to flip it to the overhead to show you how to trim that. So you can either do that with a stripology or just a straight ruler align it with the sides. It's just exactly like the A blocks, but opposite angle. So then when you're ready to do the top of it, that's the only time when you have to kind of do a little bit of guesswork. If you don't have trimmers or flat tip to trim off, to do a little bit of guessing on how much of that little 
corner is going to stick out but it's about a quarter of an inch so if you look at it as a triangle it should be an equal sized uh, a triangle with equal sides like this and then pin it down and then we're going to press we always press I always give you pressing instructions in all of my patterns because I love being able to nest seams. Now with this particular pattern, nothing is going to nest. So a lot of your questions were about what somebody cut wrong. What if you do the angle and the wrong slit? It really is not going to matter that much because we are not matching this up with anything. And so whether it's a half inch down or up, it really doesn't matter. So we're always going to press towards that little accent strip so that kind of gives lifts it out a little bit but that just it makes it lie really nice and flat and of course then the last step for block b is exactly like we did block a is trimming it to the 21 and a half and so just any ruler you can trim it to 21 and a half and uh, one of the questions that i had is do you have to be really careful of trimming uh, enough from each side but the thing is, it really doesn't matter. If you trim it just from one side, it's okay because it's such a little sliver. So let me just show you. It's really just a tiny little sliver if your seams are accurate. And for some of you, that might not even be anything. So how I do it, I start by measuring my, kind of looking at my block. I see it's about a quarter inch that I have to trim off. So then I just slide my ruler over and kind of eyeball what I trim from one side so i just want to make sure i have a horizontal line aligning the bottom of the of the block and so i trim um, one side and then i pull that away and then i align the edge of that trim to the half inch mark so it's two slit or two quarter inches from the zero so that's adding a half inch and then i just trim on the edge of the ruler and i got my second little sliver and that is my 21 and a half. And again, how much you trim off each side, if you do it from one side, it really doesn't matter because nothing is gonna match when we put this all together. So how is everybody doing? Are you having fun? I know I am. I uh, spent probably the most, most of the time between the sessions figuring out the video, uh, trying to get to all your questions. Now don't be offended if i didn't get your question so a lot of the questions uh, pertain to something that i talked about early in the video so i left them unanswered so just go back and watch so because i know a lot of people kind of came on later and maybe didn't catch the first part of the video so just go ahead and and watch again i'm not don't be offended that if i didn't get your question it's not personal it's just repetitive i don't want to be answering the same questions over and over so let me hear from some of you how are you as everybody doing um lots of freezing so again i'm going to talk about the freezing so that is the internet on your end we are staying strong uh our internet is strong so our our broadcast is not being frozen so but you have to have good internet on your side but again everybody's online because everybody's in their house um, Corinne said, she, I cut some blocks wrong. Oh, well, adding more fabric and making a larger size now all works out with stash. If you cut some wrong, you know what? Sew them back together and use that into your backing. Don't waste that fabric. We can always use it. Live on YouTube would have been better than Facebook, not all the video breakup. We've had similar issues on, on YouTube, so I don't think it's that. It's just all about the internet. Um, all right. So yes, first session was good. Must not have been as many people up. Now it's all freezing. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's uh, all everybody in your neighborhood is up and online. Oh, uh, Teresa's husband is up and helping helping her cut and ironing. Oh, how great is that to have a helper? All right, so great to hear everything. Um, let's see. It's so fun having Bonnie so along with us. Love the bob tip. That's great. Yes, bob. Um, Buy is on the bottom. Okay, so we're gonna just breathe again. I can't um, express how much, how thankful I am to have all of you here and all of your thank yous. I really appreciate that. We're just two of us here, so it's great to get that feedback. Um, uh, Marjorie is asking if the first video has been posted on Facebook. Yes, on YouTube, it it ha it was just rendering. It takes a while to render, so it should be up 
by now should be up um, it was just kind of finalizing it was a long video so it takes a little longer all right so uh, constant freeze up yet yeah, same thing but we are staying strong so if you had freeze up just go back and watch it recorded so it'll be all good um, I love the point trimmers how awesome are they yep they are great they and, and they do include three different angle cuts so there's a, a 90 degree and 120 degree so a um, great video on my YouTube channel on using these so I have videos on using all the rulers all kinds of tips there's one video that is a, exceptionally a favorite of mine I've gotten great feedback on it's called um, piecing accuracy so it's all the little things that goes into our perfect quarter inch seam because it's not just about our actual seam it's all kinds of things that go into it so it's a great one to watch all right so uh, i think that is it for now we're gonna pick one of you that was commenting live and we'll announce it in the next video our winner for another 25 dollars gift card so we will be on next in about an hour and a half so it's at 1 p.m central time so time to get a little lunch for me and um, I might sew up some of these blocks and I'll come back at one and our special guest will be Terry Atkinson from Atkinson Designs. So keep it up everybody, keep sewing, keep smiling and don't forget to dance. Get up and dance. See you in a little bit. Mm -hmm.